guys and welcome to my channel my name's Teresa and I'm the car boot crafter and I'm coming on today with a super simple um, paper bag album um, this year I've collected a lot of my kind of notes and things about projects and I'm trying to put them all into this little um, book so I'll probably glue some things in and rewrite some things out and one of the things that I came across was this really super simple album that I probably did right back when I first started paper crafting seriously um, but I haven't done for a while um, one of the reasons is because this is the the size paper bag that I would normally use um but it's not that easy to get these ones i suppose i could cut down or make my own um but yeah it's it's kind of a bit of a faff to make your own um, and you've got to get them super perfect in size to to make a good album so anyway i was at ikea and i found these um christmas bags and i thought um because there was a couple open i thought these are just perfect for making paper bag albums so let me let me show you um what i've done so you've got all these different colors as well so but that doesn't matter because i'll probably cover them anyway but let me pop these to one side and i'll show you how we're doing it so i've got my paper bag and um I'll... first thing we're going to do is to cut this kind of perforated zigzag across the top now i've already made a couple of um pages because you don't want me to want to be watching me doing all of them so the first thing you're going to do is line it up and using a pencil just make sure that this is going to be the same size as the rest of my pages and then grab yourself some scissors and cut across like that very simple indeed and now this page will be the same size as this page so i folded that piece up because i've already glued this pocket in place and i'll show you how i do that so there you go that's how to get them all the same size okay so the first thing you're going to do with your um page is fold it up like that and really crease that fold and all the other folds as well sometimes they're not especially straight so you may have to straighten some out if you're using paper bags um, i have made albums with paper bags that i've got from the chemist before you know the ones that uh, your medication comes in um, from some of the more well-known branches of chemists um so yeah so do that first and then i won't give you my measurements because um if you're using different bags you're going to have to do your own um measurements but what you're going to do is you're going to measure this piece the piece that you've folded up so measure that that way and then measure it that way then take a quarter of an inch or whatever off or you can you can have it the same size entirely up to you and then cut yourself a piece of um patterned paper or card um to go on there this because this one's got the the legs right down to the bottom i'm taking mine a little bit further down than i would no normally i'd have it about there I'm taking a little bit further down to kind of cover that up but what I have done um, anyways because I would be inking the edges I've just made sure that I've made plenty of ink on the bottom there and really covered that up so um, what you're then going to do is grab your glue and very very simply glue it down so all the way around like that um, yeah, and I thought what I might do is revisit lots of the projects I used to do and maybe even some of the, the kind of the happy mail gifts projects that I used to do a long time ago. 
um, I thought that would be fun to revisit them um, instead of constantly scouring for something new or trying to come up with something new it'd be great to revisit some of the old so anyway that's um, sealed down we haven't glued that down just yet um, but that's down now then what you want to do is get your ruler again and measure from the top down to where this meets and then add tiny up to you quarter of an inch half an inch whatever and that then gives you the measurements for that piece and the width again will be the same as this piece that you've done so measure across take quarter of an inch off then measure from the top here and then push your ruler down a little bit more and that then gives you your measurements for your next piece of card so i've got this rather snazzy um stripy piece so i'm going to glue that in place now um yeah i used to make these albums quite a lot but it's not always easy to get hold of these uh, style of paper bags in the uk um you can sometimes but that's why i've kind of used like i say um the bags that your medication comes in i've used and these little ikea ones and when i can um i have ordered like i say these much larger um sacks i think the american call them lunch sacks not sure but uh, anyway there we go that's glued down like that and the next thing then is to glue this down and we're creating a pocket so first of all i you don't have to do this i do just because it keeps it just that little bit tidier so pull the base back and then just run a bit of glue on there it's just to hold it in place there's nothing um, it doesn't serve any other purpose than just to keep it a little bit tidy then using your glue or your or if you want you can use uh, double-sided tape um, run a bead of glue up both sides of the the base so one side and then the other and this then when we fold it over creates our pocket there we go just going to push the glue into the paper there we go that's our pocket that we've now got here um, i'm going to turn it over and while that's gluing i'm going to measure <coughs> the back of my card uh, my bag my page <laughs> which will be so measure it that way and again that way take off round about a quarter of an inch and cut your paper um, this is a little bit too long so i'm going to grab my trimmer and just take a little tiny sliver um, off there we go that then should sit beautifully on there and again i'm taking a little bit further down on the bottom just to cover those legs up a little bit santa's legs so again all the way around you could if you wanted make this into another pocket um but i'm not going to like i say i'm keeping it super simple on this one um And you can use anything you like. I was very tempted to do this as a Christmas one. I know that Christmas is all done and dusted for, for last year. But um, we do take lots of photographs in our family. And I do want to put myself an album together for Christmas. Um, photos to share with the family. So there we go. That's our page done um last thing to do is i'm going to bring this one across line it all oh, now before i do that that's going to be my front that's going to be my back 
just want to check how I'm stacking it. Yeah, that's a, right. So I want it facing the next page, facing it like that. And then I'm just going to grab a pencil, make sure I've lined it up. And I'm just going to run my pencil round as a guide. Don't need it to do an awful lot. But this then is, if I can find, there's my hole punch. I'm then going to use that to cut out a little uh, finger grab in there. So line that up carefully like that and punch that out. That gets rid of it like that. OK, that glue hasn't quite grabbed just yet. Let me just reinforce that a little bit more. So I'll hold it while it's grabbing because I'm now going to ink all my edges. Actually, if it hasn't grabbed just yet, let's do the top of that pocket first. There we go. And then do all my sides. So I'm using vintage photo on this one just to give it a little bit of a interest. Um, and a bit more age. I do this before, after I filled. Uh, sorry, after I've glued all of the papers on, um, just because I want to get that age look across on my papers as well. You can do it before you add your patterned papers, if you don't want to get the ink on your patterned papers as well. But I quite like it with the the ink kind of drifting onto the bottom of the or the tops and sides of the paper so let's do this paying particularly um close um interest there just because i've got a little bit of color coming through from santa's legs um but i'm like say I'm, it doesn't bother me too much it doesn't bother me too much at all so, like I say, this is the simplest um, album. It's probably one of the first albums I ever made. Um, certainly the first paper bag album I ever made. But it's, it's sometimes it's fun just to revisit, you know. And I did enjoy making these when I could get the bags. Um, like I say, I did give it a go uh, making the bags. Um, and there's all sorts of tutorials on doing that. But, um, yeah, it just didn't work out because you've got to be so precise on the measurements and the uh, the folding and everything. Because otherwise your paper bag album looks a little bit wonky. Right. Now, that's going to be the front. So I want the pockets facing each other so that in the middle I've got these two. Oh, I did mention, did I, you need to do that four times so I've already done it on these. So as you can see, all decorated and my pockets are all glued down. So you'll do that four times. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure again, top to bottom of your album. So that's six and a half for me. So I'm going to pop those to one side and then you're going to cut yourself a piece of card that is six inches by six and a half or whatever the length of your album is. It's got to be six inches by whatever the length of your album is, because this is going to be our spine. Once you've cut that out, grab your scoreboard and you're going to then score every one inch so one inch two inch three inch four inch and five inch and that's our last one i'm going to flip it over and do that again one two three four five Pop that back on there. I don't want to lose that. And I always lose these. I'm always putting them down in, in the wrong place. I'm going to try and be really good with that and uh, keep it all together. Then you're going to zigzag fold. Um, 
turn it the so i want my pattern showing so i'm going to turn it down and my first fold is going to be a valley fold like that then i'm going to mountain fold then valley then another mountain and then another valley like that so that i've got that so there's my valley my first one so my patterned paper is on the back i've created a valley then a mountain another main another valley another mountain and another valley very simple zigzag fold but do pay attention as to what side you want showing i want that side showing so i need to have that as a valley on that side first of all okay so once we've done that i'm going to open this up again and i'm now going to put some glue on these sides so i flipped it over so my mountains have become valleys and vice versa and in these grooves here you want to put some glue because we're going to glue those together like that and those together like that so let me just show you so <coughs> just going to run a bead of glue across there just this side of that fold down and then plenty of glue to hold it there and the sides like that and i'm just going to fold it over push it down like that so that we get that gluing together and then i'm going to do exactly the same on this side i'm going to put a bead of glue this side of the fold so there's my score mark my bead of glue is just this side of it and again i'm going to put some glue all the way between this fold and this fold there and i'm going to fold that over as well and using my bone folder i'm going to reinforce that as much as i can and reinforce them score line score marks as well so that they are good and tight there we go and that then gives you that shape oh gosh it's not quite grabbed just yet right don't know whether the cold is having an effect on my glue or what but there we go okay that should hopefully hold so we have that flap we have that piece that's glued that piece that's glued and that flap and this is now the spine to our album i'm going to bring in the album and what we need to do now is slide this into the grooves here so where our paper bag opens up we want to glue one of these wings into there so i'm just going to slide that in and decide whether I need to angle it a little bit yeah I need to take a little bit off the uh, the length of it so and I always do it afterwards because sometimes um, because of the bulk of it that can have an effect oh I'm going to use my scissors I think instead of that just not going to work so very careful trim across like that okay get rid of a tiny little bit and that then should sit nicely in there yeah that's going to work okay um i'm also going to cut it so this is i'm going to cut at that angle like that just a slight angle 
nothing too big just gives a little bit of a, a wiggle room for me then i'm going to flip it over and do exactly the same make sure you've got your open end that way and cut a tiny little angle there um, let me show you that's the, the sort of angle I've cut, a tiny little bit like that. And that then helps to um, slot our pages together like that. Okay. So I'm now going to get my glue. And on this flap, which is going to be the front or the back of my album, depending on which way I want the um, pattern to go so I'm putting glue on both sides of that like that and then I'm going to slide that into this is the back of my album I'm going to slide it between those two pieces there Let me just open that out slide it in push it down and that glue should hold there we go and then I'm just going to work my way along doing exactly the same so glue all the way along like that make sure you get the edges and we'll do that side as well maybe I should have done that side first like that and then bring my next page in and again open that out and just fit that over the um, the wing that we've just created there we go take that across and again reinforce that make sure your pages are all level and lined up and the um, wet glue gives you that little bit of a wiggle room so lesson learned from the last one i'm going to start on this side lots of glue down there don't go too mad though if your glue is going to hold it will hold just holding it i don't want it to glue onto this page or spread glue onto that page should I say there we go next page so if you remember I wanted the two back to back so I need it this way round just going to slide that over the top of that wing and then I'm going to line up my pages so that my album is all lined up together and reinforce that all the way down and again with the last one um, this one I'll do this way around I don't want to get any on my page so glue all the way down put a little bit extra along this edge I don't go too close to this edge because um, we want a little bit of um, movement um, or flexibility in the album so i'm just coming just about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of that spine on each one of them um, to give us a little bit of flexibility and then this will be my front cover so i'm just going to open that out slide it in like that and again line up all my pages like that and you can see we have our spine there and again using my bone folder push that glue into both sides of that um, bag spine and there is our album complete so we have a pocket here we have pockets here, pockets here, 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 
here we have two great spaces for photo mats if you want to put those on and you've got pockets here and more pockets here then just um, I keep all of my scraps so that I can then use these for um, decorating pages in my album so I might use them like that I won't use that one on that one I might use it like that or I might use it to punch bits out that's not glued has it a little bit more glue on there don't know why that hasn't grabbed there but a bit more glue on that then cut yourself a whole bunch of um photo mats and tags and all sorts but um, and i use all sorts of different sizes as well in these little albums just to give a bit more interest and then you're just simply going to fill your album so i can get I can get two or three in here actually in these um, in the bag so I'm going to put one either side of that gusset like that and I'm going to put um, a little tab in there actually I might put that one that side like that I might put a couple of little um, tabs like that in there I might put one that side Ooh. That's too wide for that one. That's that's one is definitely one for going in the top there. Like that. And I like them so that they just peep at the top there like that. Don't go any further than that. It's the way I like them. Do whatever works for you. And then we're simply stuffing our album with places to write or journal. What I'll probably do is um, using the same ink as I use on the album itself and just go round just to reinforce those a little bit more on there. And like I say, all of these are scraps, so nothing is wasted. Um, I think in total uh, we've got four A4 sheets of paper uh, or card in this case along with um four paper bags and that's all it's taken to make this cute little album and in the middle i might put um something like that as a photo mat or maybe even a plain sheet so that i can write photos on there or something so that people can um, put their photos on there and then like I say just keep stuffing your album with whatever you've got to hand that you want to use um, to create your album um, I'm going to carry on decorating this and stuffing it with uh, photo mats and tags but uh, yeah it's a cute little album there's loads of space and the more the little um, tabs and photo mats and journey spots you put in the more photos and memories you can cram into it as well and because it's made from paper bags you've got so much space in there to cram even more so yeah i'm going to carry on making this i'm going to decorate it up and I'm going to take a photo and pop it on the front of the uh, video. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.